at the end of a long day, there's nothing better to do than to rest, relax, and release. So here are five crystal practices that you can do in the evening in order to let go of your day, to ground yourself, and to rebalance your energy. I also made another video very similar to this one on five daily crystal practices to start your day. So if you're looking for some techniques involving crystals to boost your energy in the morning, check that one out. My name is Erin, I'm a certified life coach and I specialize in metaphysical techniques for self-care and personal development. The first evening crystal practice that I have for you is taking a crystal bath. Now, if you're going to put crystals in your bath water, the important thing is to make sure that the crystals that you are using are water safe. I generally advise not to use any crystals that end in ite in the water, like pyrite, labradorite, fluorite. Members of the quartz family are typically very safe. This is a bloodstone. It is a member of the Chalcedony family, which is a part of the category of quartz. Bloodstone can be submerged in water for a short period of time, and it's not gonna damage the mineral. Similar to other quartz, like clear quartz, amethyst, or citrine. Taking a bath in the evening is going to physically help to relax you. It also has the component of assisting you mentally and emotionally just by providing you that sacred space and that sacred time to release and let go. So combining your bath with a bit of crystal energy is going to allow you to boost your bath time practice and bring the crystals that you are currently working with in your metaphysical self-care or personal development practice into your evening routine. The second evening crystal practice that you can do to rest, relax, and let go is going to be making a crystal sleep pouch. Now I'm gonna have another video about a very similar practice of using crystals to influence your dreams. So if you're someone who's interested in lucid dreaming or dream work for self-care and personal development, then you might wanna go ahead and check that video out. But right now in this video, what I would advise is if you are someone who's prioritizing your actual rest, like your sleep, and perhaps you're also interested in your dreams. You write down your dreams, you pay attention to your dreams, you get advice or inner insight from your dreams. Then what you can do is get a simple drawstring pouch. If you're into crystals, then you probably already have one of these. If not, they are easily sourced at a metaphysical shop near you. And very simple, you're going to put crystals that you are currently working with inside of this pouch. In the evening time, what you'll do is simply put it under your pillow and go to sleep. The energy of these crystals is going to influence your energy while you're resting, while you're sleeping, especially if you have programmed those crystals to your desired goals or intentions. If this is something that you haven't done and you don't know how to do, I would highly advise that you go ahead and grab the free crystal programming guide that I have created for you. I'll put the link to that in the description box below. It has a framework that you can use to create your own process for programming and harmonizing the energy of your crystals with your current goals or your direction in life or any intentions that you have. It contains journaling prompts and additional resources. And once again, it's completely free. In my other video on how to use a crystal to influence your dreams, I give you a variation on this practice that includes creating a written statement and also putting herbs inside of your sleep pouch. The third crystal evening practice that you can use is one that you probably haven't heard of before, but using crystal infused incense or crystal coated incense to separate your evening time from the rest of the day. Incense are a great tool that you can use to set the mood. The sense of scent is the one that's linked most strongly to memory. So the way that I like to use and advise people to use incense in their practices is to really set the mood, set the time and set the space. 
So for your evening routine, it would be very nice if you lit some incense, perhaps the same scent of incense every evening at a certain time, like eight o'clock. You have told yourself that at eight o'clock, you're gonna start doing your evening routine, which could include stress relief activities like movement, stretching, yoga, journaling, meditation, or even some of the crystal work practices that I'm talking to you about in this very video. The more you have that association of your evening space, your rest, decompress, and relax time, and you have that intention associated with the scent of the incense, your brain is gonna automatically know what time it is once you light that incense. It's gonna set your body and your mind up to begin resting and relaxing and slowly letting go of the day so that you can prepare yourself for a relaxing evening and a peaceful sleep. These incense are the crystal coated incense from the Higher Alignment Metaphysical Shop. This is the Amber Vanilla variety. It is one of my favorites. It's actually coated in crushed clear quartz and citrine. It's made with high quality amber resin, black frankincense, almond benzoin, high quality essential oils, and they are all rolled on lavender stems. I have a few different varieties of hand rolled crystal coated incense. So if these sound interesting to you, go ahead and check them out. And for the first 10 individuals, you can use the discount code TY15 on your first order in order to get 15% off. Okay, so the next evening activity that you can do involving crystals for self-care and stress relief is simply going to be taking a short walk wearing or holding or having your crystal on your person. Walking in the evening is wonderful for stress relief. It's a great way to get just a little bit of movement in to release the energy of the day. It's also been shown that walking after a meal helps your body absorb more of the nutrients causing you to feel more full and satisfied and satiated. I would suggest perhaps even combining your evening walk with a psychological technique called active imagination created by Jung, also popularized by Robert A. Johnson. Inside of my self-talk workbook, there is a guided practice for active imagination. This practice is also included in the Intro to Dream Work and Lucid Dreaming workbooks. Of course, for walking in the evening, you can use any crystal that you like. So incorporating crystals into your evening walk will definitely help you harness the power of the crystal that you are using along with self-care and just the benefits that you get from moving your body. For the last activity, I was going to put the crystal appreciation activity or crystal gratitude on this list, but I actually covered that in video once. I wanted to do something different. So I thought about something very similar to the bath and the shower. What about a crystal foot soak? How many of us work and are constantly on our feet throughout the day? Soaking your feet at the end of the day is something very easy that you can do to de-stress and decompress and release the tension of the muscles in the feet, in the ankles, in the toes, which support you and carry you on all your adventures throughout the day. You can easily add some small tumbled stones that are water safe to your foot soak. I know you're getting your learning on, but I wanna quickly draw your attention to the crystal jewelry that I'm wearing. Typically, I wear something different in each video. This is a Labradorite. And here I have some Elite Noble Shungite with Pyrite, as well as a Herkimer Diamond Necklace. You can find handmade crystal jewelry and crystal rolled incense along with small batch handmade Florida waters in the higheralignment.com metaphysical shop. Your support means a lot and it helps me to continue making self-care and personal development tutorials and resources just like this one. Check out the link to my shop in the description box below. And now let me continue giving you the tips, tools, and techniques that you can use in order to create a positive transformation in your life. And if you have an appropriately sized and shaped crystal, if you have a few of those, you could probably even put those in your foot soak and apply a little bit of pressure 
on the bottom of your feet using the crystal in order to massage and stimulate the energy points and the muscles at, in the bottom of the foot. For both baths and foot soaks, people often add things like essential oils or Epsom salt. Those are amazing, but I want you to also keep in mind the impact that additional chemicals like salt or oils or anything else can have on those minerals. So make sure that you do just a little bit of research to make sure that one, the crystal that you're going to use is safe to be put in water. And if you're gonna be adding things like salts or other minerals, that those minerals are not going to corrode or break down or tarnish the crystals in any way. So let me know what you think about these practices. If you're looking for more crystal work practices for various aspects of your life, let me know in the comment section below. I would love to get your feedback and to know what you would like to learn more about. I'm currently doing a series on working with crystals for self-care, personal development, and goal achievement, which is the perspective that I take on metaphysics and energy work here on Higher Alignment. So go ahead and check out the other videos in this series on crystal work. And don't forget to check out all of the resources that I've talked about throughout this video in the description box. You have that free crystal programming guide, the self-talk workbook, the intro to dream work and lucid dreaming workbooks, along with some additional tutorials and videos. And once again, I'll include all of those links along with higheralignment.com and that discount code in the description box below. While you're down there grabbing what you need, make sure that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. The majority of people People who watch my videos are actually not subscribed to my YouTube channel and this simple action of subscribing hitting that bell icon and maybe even leaving a like or a comment are free ways to support what I do here on YouTube and let YouTube know that you enjoyed this content and you appreciated the information in the meantime in between time like I always say here are two more tutorials or guided practices that YouTube thinks that you would enjoy